thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, hang out with us for a while, hit that post notification bell so you never miss another one of my uploads. My name is Jenna P and this is Jenna Unfiltered. In today's video, I will be discussing with you guys something that has been on my mind for quite some time that I'm just deciding to share with you guys. And that is, I've decided to cut my hair. I'm not talking two inches, three inches. I'm talking about taking it up to the neck, shall we? You hear me? <laughs> I'm talking about taking it to collarbone. The reason being largely is because I have sustained heat damage. I sustained heat damage uh, with my, I personally feel like with the last two styles that I did a few months ago, which was box braids back in March, April-ish, and uh, silk press in end of April, May-ish. Um, so before I get started, here is my hair in its current condition. These are two strand twists. Sorry if I'm looking here. I'm looking directly at my hair and not you guys. My hair is in two strand twists. And as you can notice, my curls here at the bottom are just very lifeless. Very, very lifeless. Not much bounce, if any bounce, quite frankly, at all. Uh, not as springy as other pieces of my hair. See that bounce back? Come on through. And my cousins here are, yeah, not, not, not so much, not really so much. So the reason why I feel like I sustained heat damage was one, when I blue dry my hair in preparation for my box braids, I don't think I used as much heat protectant as I should have. And I probably could have taken a little bit more time to prepare my hair the correct way for box braids. The second reason I think I sustained heat damage is getting my silk press. Perhaps the heat may have been a little bit too high. Maybe the blow dryer uh, setting was a little too high. Nonetheless, I did sustain heat damage. Now, a little disclaimer. The same stylist that did my box braids is the same stylist that did my, my silk press. I by no means blame her for the heat damage that I did sustain. I am a realist. I've been natural for 11 years, and I know that anytime I apply heat to my hair, it's a possibility that I may sustain heat damage. It just comes with the territory. To think anything otherwise, quite frankly, would be foolish. You're always taking a chance at receiving some type of damage when you introduce blow drying, flat ironing, hot combing to your natural hair. So again, I by no means blame her. I think she's awesome. She does phenomenal work, phenomenal braids, phenomenal dreads. I mean, you name it, she does it. Super, super talented, super, super sweetheart. So this is definitely not a bash video for my stylist. I love her, I love her work. It's just how the dice rolled in my favor for my hairstyles, for my heat styles. Um, so again, as you can see, like I said, the curls just aren't bouncing back as they should have. Um, I did the box braids initially for a church event that me and my family attended back in April. And about a month after having those, I was presented with an opportunity to do a photo shoot for my brand, Love L Hair Care. For those of you who do not know, our brand Love L caters to natural hair, both men and women. Our products promote healthy hair growth as well as maintaining and sustaining healthy hair. If you haven't heard of us and you're interested in checking us out, the link to our website will be down below. And also, if you have tried Love L Hair Care, please feel free to leave us a comment. We'd love to see your feedback and know what you think about the products. Also, please be sure to uh, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. Those social media handles will be in the description box. Now, back to what I was saying in regards to the hair and the photo shoot. I decided to, for that photo shoot, 
straighten my hair uh, with a silk press. I didn't need to, it wasn't necessary, but it was something that I decided to do. Um, immediately after about a month, I washed my hair and noticed that my curls weren't the same. I have not sustained heat damage all over my hair. It looks to me, and again, this is just with just an immediate look, it looks to me that it's more so the bottom of my hair where the length is and not necessarily the top of my hair. Um, so I want it all gone. I want the damage gone. I don't want to transition. I don't want to trim. I don't want to wait it out and let the hair around it catch up to the to the, the hair down here at the bottom. I feel like that would take a lot longer than just cutting it off and starting over. Back in February of 2020, I cut my then, uh, then waist length hair to about shoulder length, collarbone length hair, and I absolutely loved it. I loved the, the volume, I loved the shape, I loved the body, I loved the way my styles came out, and I wanna create that look again. And me having heat damage is just an, an excuse for me to go ahead and get hubby on board for this cut, okay? And to just go through with it. I've been wanting to do it for quite some time. So believe me, I am not mad at all. I will say I'll be a little bit more cautious next time if ever I decide to use heat because at this point I've come to the realization that my curly hair is a lot more important to me <laughs> than my straight hair. So you guys may never see straight hair on me ever again, but then again you might, who knows. So without further ado, if you guys would like to see a little bit of background footage of me getting my hair cut, the salon I choose to go to, the stylist I choose to use to give me my curly cut, then please keep watching. I didn't even see you there. <laughs> Guys, we have made it back home from our salon experience and getting our hair cut in sis. I love it. I love everything about this cut. I love everything about the shape, about the volume, everything that I was lacking this morning before I went to get my hair cut. My good sis, Celeste at Eclectic Vibes, gave it right back. She poured, she poured back into me okay i love my cut oh my gosh before i continue to rave let me show you the side profile yes we love it back side i mean guys let moment of silence this hair is everything like it feels so good i i love the shape i love how it just cascades down i like i love everything everything like look listen when you get a good haircut and you get to feeling like beyonce you know you know this is giving me it's giving me it's giving me everything i literally don't have a bad thing to say about this haircut we took a lot off of the top to give me this kind of round shape that you see here today we did take quite a bit off of the bottom but i'm totally fine with that um i'm just in love like i love let me get you close close come on come on just come on look I mean, talk about correction. Where are my cousins? I don't even see them. Where Where are my cousins? Where are they? I wait. Because it's a whole family reunion up in here, okay? We got a lot of sisters, okay? We got a lot of twins. We got a lot of 
quadruplets, okay? We are looking very much so uniform on this head, okay? We are no longer a part of many nations, honey. We are all of one. I love my haircut. I just wanted to pop back in to end this video, let you guys see the final results and to absolutely rave about Celeste and my experience at Eclectic Vibe. I really enjoyed my experience with her being in the salon was a true eclectic vibe. Like the name is so perfect. If you are in the Houston area, please go check her out. Her hands are truly, truly blessed. I cannot wait to style my hair and my twist outs and my braid outs. <clears throat> Excuse me, this cut has truly helped me to fall in love with my hair all over again. I feel like I just got a fresh start today with this haircut. Another thing, I usually use butters, gels, um, all of that you guys saw in my twist out video, the gels, I usually transition those over to my wash and goes. Celeste only use like a mousse kind of cream thingy, mabob. I don't know. I'm actually going to reach out to her to see what product that was so that I can start using it myself because I actually like, especially for the summertime, this effortless look. I like that um my hair doesn't look weighed down it's very bouncy it has a lot of movement has a lot of body so i think i'm going to start incorporating that uh, a few times here and there within my wash and go to see if i can recreate this look but guys that will be it for this video thank you so much for tuning in if you lasted to the end of this video you are a true mvp and i appreciate you so much for sticking with me throughout the whole day i hope you like my haircut let me know your thoughts comments questions and concerns down below if you are feeling this cut as much as i am please let me know with that being said guys my name is jp this is jenna unfiltered until next time bye